Hi guys, it's Andy from Nismo Tech UK. Today we're giving an unboxing and overview for Samsung and this is their 840 EVO SSD. Just before we get started guys, I want to say a massive thank you to Samsung for sending the 840 EVO SSD out for the unboxing and review as well as obviously our testing that we're going to be doing with the particular SSD. Now just looking around the box, it's quite a simple plain looking box. An image of the actual SSD on the front, uh, the 840 EVO and the version that we have which is the 500 gigabyte version. Down at the bottom just says Samsung SSD activated. Apart from that, around the box just a little bit of branding and then on the back uh, it says here that it's obviously 6 gigabit per second compatible with 3 gigabit per second uh, faster evolutionary performance Samsung data migration software for an easy and simple upgrade Samsung magical software for SSD performance management and it comes with a, a 3 year limited warranty so let's now get inside the box and have a look and see what we get inside so we'll pop that down over there and we can have a look uh, so the first thing that we get is the Samsung warranty statement summary which we give that a good read the uh, Samsung um, software that comes with the actual SSD might be worth checking the Samsung website just to make sure there isn't a later version and then we also get an install guide which will tell you how to go about installing it in a variety of different applications such as your laptop um, an external device or something like nature so again make sure we give that a good read and then we come across the actual SSD itself so I'm just going to go and remove this now and we can have a look now this looks absolutely fantastic it's sort of like got a not quite a completely black look um, I'm not quite sure as to what color it is it's quite hard to actually describe but it's sort of like um, a navy blue to sort of almost black coating on the actual SSD looks absolutely fantastic um, very very well built very nice looking um, on the back um, I see just mentions Samsung SSD 840 Evo 500 gigabyte version so you've got your connectors on here etc so that's about it really with regards to the way that it actually looks obviously we know that Samsung uh, SSDs are probably regarded as being the best available at the moment uh, so what I'm going to do now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the 840 Evo range and the different capacities that are available and I'll be back to you in a moment Okay, so let's give you a little bit more information about the Samsung 840 EVO SSD. Now, when you're looking to pick your SSD, the first thing that really comes to mind are the big brands. And Samsung is definitely probably the best SSD that you can actually find on the market. And the main reason for that is the fact that they actually build, create, design and do everything in-house. Down to the controller, down to the software, down to the uh, NAND flash that obviously is used for the storage. Everything is done by Samsung. The other thing that this does allow Samsung to do is with their software, increase the actual performance of the actual SSD. Samsung Magician software actually turns on the rapid mode. And what the rapid mode does is uses your spare PC memory to act as cache for the actual SSD. Therefore increasing the actual performance. The drive itself is available in 120GB, 250, 500, which is the one that we have here, 750GB and a fantastic 1TB version. Now all the drives in the range have a maximum of 540 megabits per second on the read speed and 520 megabits per second on the write speed. However, when you're looking at the 500GB, the 750GB and the 1TB, they do perform slightly quicker with the 4K random read and random write tests. Just before we get any further, I'd like to go over the specification for the test bench that we used in order to obtain our test data. The motherboard is a Z87i from MSI. It's a cracking little board and has all the features that we need in order to test our storage medium. The CPU comes in the form of the Intel i7-4-77K. This has not been overclocked and this is running as standard. The RAM comes from Crucial and this is the ballistic 16GB low profile kit that runs at 1600 MHz and again this has not been overclocked. The boot drive comes in the form of the Crucial M500 480GB SSD. 
Okay, so just before we actually uh, display the test results, we're just going to quickly have a look at the uh, data sheet from Samsung for the 840 Evo. As you can see, the sequential read speed for all the drives is 540 megabits per second. The sequential write speed is 520 megabits per second on all the drives. Now one thing to point out as well is the sequential write speed data was uh, performed with the turbo write op operation enabled on the actual drive via the software. So let's now go and display the test results. Okay, so looking at our first set of test results, you can see that we managed to achieve 532.3 megabits per second on the read speed and 517.1 megabits per second on the write speed. And that is truly incredible, extremely close to what Samsung claimed that the actual drive can actually do as well. So, so it just goes to show that they're not over promoting the actual speeds and they're pretty damn accurate. Second set of results, we managed to achieve 533.3 on the read and 522.0 megabits per second on the write speed. Slight performance increase over the first test that we actually did um, on both speeds there. And finally on to the last set of results, 531.9 on the read and 521.6 megabits per second on the write speed. So on to the average score results, 532.5 on the read and 520.5 megabits per second on the write. And I'll see that's an average over the three results that we actually did. Now another thing that's definitely worth pointing out is the 512k read and write speeds. They are probably around about 100, 100 megabits per second over any other drive that we've actually tested. The 4k read and write speeds are outstanding. The majority of drives that we tested come in around 15 to 20 megabits per second. So for this drive to achieve a 4K random read and write speed of over 100, let alone close to 200 on the read speed, is absolutely phenomenal. The 4K QD32 is pretty damn good um, compared to other drives that, um, that we've actually tested. Um, but as for the rest of the, the results, the sequential, the 512K and the 4K, this drive has completely blown everything else out of the water. Okay, so let's now go and see where it fits into our graph of drives that we've actually tested. Okay, so as you can see, and more than likely as expected, the 840 EVO from Samsung has come out on top of the actual uh, graph itself. 532.5 megabits per second compared to the Toshiba, uh, which was uh, 519.1. Obviously, the Toshiba drive is one uh, that is actually used by the actual uh, Nismatech crew. Um, we haven't actually done a review on that. So, essentially, if you're looking for one that we've done a review on, the nearest one is the Team Group Dark L3, which is coming in 460. 6.5 megabits per second again with the right speed it completely blows everything out of the way 520.2 on average uh, compare that to the Toshiba 475.4 and also the team group one that I personally reviewed at 255.3 the Samsung 840 Evo is potentially well, it's, it's definitely the quickest drive that we've actually reviewed, but it's probably one of the quickest SSDs on the market right now. Let's go and see how much it costs and how it compares price per gigabyte. Okay, so this graph may surprise quite a lot of you, and I must admit, when I was plotting it, it really did actually surprise myself. Now, obviously, we worked all the figures out across all the drives on their 120 or 128 gigabyte versions. Um, so I see it's standard throughout. And we are working the price per gigabyte across those drives. So the Toshiba, which is in second place with performance, works out at 78 pence per gigabyte. Whereas the 840 Evo works out 46 pence per gigabyte. Only the Crucial works out a better value per gigabyte. So it's a very, very interesting result. Not only is it one of the quickest, but also looking at this, it is also one of the cheapest drives around as well. And a lot of you are probably thinking, well, at Samsung, it's going to be expensive, but 
it does work out to be a very very good value for money drive okay so i'm just going to finish off with the conclusion for the drive it's a very good looking drive obviously looks on everything when it comes to ssds but what has blown me away as you've already seen on i've gone on about it is the overall performance of the actual drive the speeds that this thing can actually reach and bearing this in mind we didn't use any of the software to actually do it literally took it out the box plugged it into our test bench and formatted the drive and ran the actual software so potentially you could actually get even more performance with the samsung software installed the other good plus point is the value for money side of things 46 pence per gigabyte is just absolutely outstanding so essentially what we're saying to you is forget all the other ssds that we've tested forget all the other speeds performance the pricing the samsung 840 evo is definitely the only choice really for an ssd if you are considering purchasing the ssd there is a link down below to where you can actually find the most current and up-to-date prices on the amazon website so make sure you do give that a click go and have a look and see what the current price is so we hope you like the unboxing the overview and also the testing that we did on the drive Please leave a comment down below, let us know what you think, and we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video. We hope you liked our video review. If you did, then please leave a like, as well as any comments or questions you may have down below. Full details and specifications on this item can be found at our website, nismotech.com, along with all the links for purchasing if you wish. Also on our site, you'll find our latest reviews and current giveaways, plus a lot more. We look forward to seeing you in our next review.